What is up, YouTube? Let's, it is Puddles A1 here, and I'm finally bringing you another narrated Wi-Fi battle. Guys, I miss doing this. I hope that you guys miss me. And, yeah, I have an NU battle with the Expendables team. Um, and this is against the Emblitz 47. I did battle him previously, and this is just, like, a, a, a for-fun battle. We were on Skype, and we just did it. So, like I said, NU. And the, really, the only thing I'm scared of is Gorobis. So, that's about it. Here we go, guys. I'm going to lead off with Glalie because that's the standard thing. And he's going to lead off with Sock. Now, I saw the Sock and I was like, he's probably going to lead off with it because it's Scarf. And uh, Sock just screams Scarf because their names are almost exactly the same. But I outspeed here and I go for Spikes. And I was like, oh, okay, he's not running Scarf. That's weird. But um, <coughs> I almost went for the Ice Beam just because I knew I would live uh, with my Focus Sash. And I would just like to get some uh, damage off um, after his close combat thing. But this way, um, it's easier because now I get up spikes and I get to hit him hard with an ice beam. Um, and he is at minus two, so I could literally go into anything I wanted to to take him out. Now, um, I probably made a, a bad play by going into my scarfer, my, um, excuse me, my haunter. Um, because I probably could have went into my golem and gone for sucker punch to take him out. Because I am adamant and uh, max uh, attack, so that probably would have done a lot, but I, I don't know why I didn't do that. And now he goes into his Gorbis, and that one layer of spikes is really going to come in handy because I do just enough damage uh, with the spikes, and then I get the poison after the sludge bomb, so that plus uh, the poison damage and the spikes damage, I will be able to take out the Gorbis. Really the only thing that I was afraid of this entire battle, because um, I'm stupid and I forget that you can't... Uh, Shell pass, smash pass, whatever, and that's I was just afraid of that. So now I'm gonna switch out, and save my scarfer because I'm pretty sure that um his braviary scarfed, and I think braviary speed is 100 or it's 90. I'm not entirely sure. I know its HP is 9 or is 100. So I'm gonna switch out, and go to my shell gun because that's my physical wall. And now I know he's gonna switch out into Torkoal, so I'm gonna switch out, go into my um. I was going to say Torterra, but my Golem. Wow, it's been a long time, guys. I go into my Golem, and now um, I know he's going to go for the Protect, but I just want to trick him into thinking that I'm Choice Banded by going for the Rock Blast. Now, here, um, I go for the Rock Blast again, because I want to, you know, convince him that I'm Choice Banded. And I only get two this time, but it does do a decent chunk as he goes for the Stealth Rock. And I just let that kind of happen. And now, I thought maybe he would go for the... Um, toxic so I'm, I'm gonna keep going for the rock blast now i do have the earthquake and i could have easily went for it but i wanted to i wanted him to get in the mindset that that this golem is choice banded he's gonna go for the rapid spin get rid of the spikes that's fine and um he doesn't see leftovers so now um because i actually run lumberry on uh, my golem because i don't like to get burned and stuff and if it's a pokemon with sturdy and you get hit once leftovers isn't going to bring you back up to sturdy well except in this case and now i actually went for the earthquake as he goes for protect and i'm just kind of upset now so i'm gonna go for the rock blast as he switches into ludicolo i get one crit and then i get another crit so i was like oh man this ludicolo is almost gone and then i look at ludicolo and then i look at my team and i'm like ludicolo is a big threat but um, I see the sub, and I was like, okay, two Rock Blasts should be able to take it out because one crit looked like it was over 25%. So that is the case. I do sadly only get two. I'm pretty sure three would have taken out the Ludicolo, but I don't get it. That's fine. You know, it's the game. Whatever. He goes for Giga Drain. I'm going to easily be taken out by that, and that's okay. He's going to be up at, like, uh, around half HP after leftovers and stuff. Oh, my God. He's past half HP. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since I even looked at this battle, but um, I know this Ludicolo gave me problems, so... What I do here is I go back into my um, Haunter, and I plan to go for the Sludge Bomb as he goes for the Protect. Now, um, I'm really just trying to, because I know that Ludicolo, one of Ludicolo's uh, weaknesses is Poison. That's specifically why I saved my Haunter and Death Foddered off my Golem. Now, he goes into his Torkoal, good thing, Death Foddery deal for him, and now he's going to go into his Braviary. Now, again, I'm fearing the Scarf and that I'm not going to outspeed. I'm pretty sure I'm 95 base speed, but I'm not sure how fast um, a Braviary is. So now I go back into my Shogun. This um, Brave Bird does a lot more damage than the first one did, so he's going to easily be able to take me out. I could have stalled with, like, a Protect or something to waste some Brave Bird um, PP, but that's pointless. So now I'm going to go, <coughs> excuse me, now I'm going to go into my War Turtle here, and I'm pretty sure he was going to switch out, so I go for the Toxic. I make the good prediction, hit the uh, Ludicolo on the switch in because I knew he would come into it and now I predict him to go for Leech Seed because seeing Giga Drain and Sub and Protect I'm almost positive he has Leech Seed so seeing that I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin to take that off to make him waste a turn and rack up that poison damage some more. Now I kind of thought that he would go for a sub here. I, I Well, my thought process was he was either going to go for sub or leech seed. And I didn't want to go for the rapid spin just in case he didn't go for leech seed and he went for sub instead to get that free sub up. So I go for the seismic toss, actually. And uh, he goes for the leech seed. That's fine because poison is going to do just as... Or I think... 
I think it does 18% now, and uh, you only get like 12 or something from Leech Seed. So he's he's either like 6 down or he broke even, and that's fine. Now he's going to go for the Giga Drain. I was hoping that he would go for the sub on this turn, um, and then I could get a safe switch into my Zangoose. I don't get that. That's fine. Um, but actually, I know from prior experience that I don't need to set up a Swords Dance. Um, but I do it anyway, and I'm so stupid because I know for a fact that setting up a Swords Dance is completely pointless because I am Life Orb, and a Stab Return from Max Attack Life Orb Zangoose is going to destroy anything. And just because I have an app on my phone that can do damage calculations, I calc the damage on um, a Max HP, Max Defense, Ludicolo with a Stab Return, and I'm pretty sure like it did 80% or higher. So I knew I could have taken it out, but then he goes into his Earth Ring, and I see his Earth Ring outspeeds me, so I'm pretty sure it's Scarfed. And now I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb, hoping to take it out, but I actually don't, and it does like about half, so I was like, whoa, that's that's really weird. And I don't get taken out by the Ice Beam. The Ice Beam? <laughs> the Ice Punch. Man, guys, I've been out for a long time. But uh, luckily I live, I get off the Sludge Bomb, and now I'm not playing games anymore. I don't care if he's Scarfed. I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb anyway. I do outspeed. I don't take it out, but I do get the Poison. So I'm thinking, good deal. He's going to take me out. Brave Bird Recoil will bring him low enough to Poison to take him out. But that's not the case at all. And um, I just barely miss out on that KO. And all I have left, I think, is my War Total. And he goes for Frustration. And I was like, oh my god, if you went for Brave Bird, that probably would have been game over. But I do get the Rapid Spin kill. That is GG, Yumblitz 47. Guys, it has been so long since I've said this, so I'm really excited to say it. You guys, if you click from the Earth Ring all the way to the Sock, it's going to take you directly to Yumblitz 47's channel. Please go like his stuff, his content, do whatever. Click from the Haunter to see my last video. Click the glay light to see my next one when I upload it. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Add me on Skype. Follow me on Instagram if you guys want. Puddles A1 is the name throughout all that. You guys, it is great to be back. More battles will be up soon. Um, and yeah, peace, love. Later, Gators. Man, that feels good to say.